one row of perimeter post up and we're working on row number two that's Isaac down there okay this is the greenhouse so far we've got the supporting poles we have heavy cable and electric fence cable three rows so far um, this is the thick cable we got it's it's pretty strong hard to bend by hand and then electric fence wire came on a roll <laughs> uh, for the two smaller ones and we had a neighbor tear down a shed give us the old tin um, we got the painted side in and the underside is facing out um, we just screwed them with roofing screws to the uh, to the post well we're going to come back here where they meet up this section here we'll put another board on this side and then screw it in we're putting the boards on the inside they'll be more protected from the weather um, we'll do that close in the ends and uh, should be ready to plant we have the plastic uh, just arrived today and uh, this will be our tomato house be two rows with uh, four feet in between each row plenty of room to maneuver and do whatever needed to do give the tomatoes plenty of room to grow and uh, hopefully next picture you see this will be the completed greenhouse well hello Isaac I see you watering tomatoes and the top of the greenhouse is wet. How'd that happen? <laughs> so you spray the top of the greenhouse so it drips down and helps you water the plants. Okay, that, that kind of makes sense. But these are our small cranberry tomatoes, and that's how big they get. <laughs> Little guys with lots of flavor. We have to use fighter jets to uh, to force the flavor into them. That's how we cram all that flavor into a small package. <laughs> 